So Baxter, hello, what are we doing today? All right, so we're going to go on to our first big question, the first big unanswerable question. I'm going to try and provide you with an answer that you find satisfying, that you feel is correct. Um, and uh, we're going to go from there. So we're going to go for the first big question, the one that's troubled mankind since the dawn of time, which is what came first uh, out of the chicken uh, and the egg? It's a famously unanswerable question. Um, to a certain extent, it has a relatively easy answer in that you can either say the chicken or the egg. Um, but actually the difficult question in what came first of the chicken and the egg is the follow-on question. So if I say the chicken came first, the follow-on question is, well, you know, where did the chicken come from? And if I say the egg came first, then the follow-on question is, what laid the egg? So if you want uh, to answer the question of the chicken and the egg, what you have to answer is one of these two ancillary questions, the immediate comeback question. So we're going to try and clear our minds. We're going to try and think, based on the knowledge we have of our world and how it works, which one of these actually came first. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that my pen here uh, is a theropod dinosaur. It's a kind of velociraptor type uh, creature. Um, the Chitzlub uh, kind of meteor impact has just taken place and this little critter is running around in a panic. Um, he thinks it's all over him, but what he doesn't realise is that actually his line is going to continue and it's going to reach us in the present day because his ancestors are, are the birds. So this theropod dinosaur 65 million years ago uh, exists and he's here and I'm pretty sure that he exists thanks to the fossil record and at the other end of uh, the 65 million year time scale we have my cup of tea which is going to represent the kind of um, mega bucket type chicken and that we all agree uh, what it is is definitely a chicken and so during this period in between these two things of 65 million years represented by the tabletop we have a series of progressions so we have a dinosaur or a theropod dinosaur which is basically like a little toothed lizard on two legs and through the generations, it becomes more and more bird-like through the process of evolution until you have something which scientists will argue, is it a lizard or is it a bird? And then another million years later, everyone agrees it's a bird. And then from the point we have the bird, we then have the bird that becomes more and more chicken-like until eventually we have the chicken. When you get to about here, on our timeline, you'll have a creature that's very similar to a chicken. It's becoming more and more chicken-like, and there'll be a period of time during which there will be disagreement as to whether or not the creature that you're looking at, the fossil that you're looking at, is the fossil of a chicken, or whether it's the fossil of some other uh, pregenitor uh, of the chicken. So somewhere in this gap is the first chicken, but we're not entirely sure where. Now, if you're going to split hairs, you'd probably say that there's, uh, there's almost certainly like a, you know, a genetic series of bases which only occur in chickens and don't occur in any other birds. And you might say, okay, so that's our golden spikes, so whichever first bird has that, that series of, of base pairs, that's the first chicken. Um, but the point is, as far as this question is concerned, is that all of the creatures, all the way from the theropod dinosaur, right the way through to the boiler bird, come out of eggs. It's one thing which is common to every single one of them. So every single one of these creatures comes out of an egg. So if you're going to take the approach which I would take, which is that a chicken egg is an egg from which a chicken emerges, then the egg comes first and the chicken comes second. If you're going to take the view that a chicken egg is an egg which is laid by a chicken, then the egg obviously comes second and the chicken necessarily comes first. If you say, well, we're going to go that a chicken egg is an egg from which a chicken emerges, then you say, well, the egg came first and the chicken came second. And the person will say, well, what laid the egg? At which point you can lean back in your chair and wave your hand airily and say, why, it's the chicken's immediate evolutionary predecessor, of course. Um, and that would be the actual answer to the question of what came first out of the chicken or the egg. Because whilst it's very unlikely that a bird can change from being a non-chicken to being a chicken during its lifetime, because the chances of there being damage to one of its cells, uh, which turns it into a chicken, which doesn't either become cancerous or get gobbled up by the other cells, is extraordinarily low. But we know from the um, evolutionary process that it's perfectly reasonable, indeed almost inevitable, the two individuals coming together uh, and fertilising an egg to make a new individual, that new individual will be in some way uh, slightly different from the two parents. So the more likely thing is that the mutation from the non-chicken to the chicken will occur at the point of fertilisation, which means that when the egg is laid, it contains a chicken, and the chicken is marginally different from both parents, which is an evolutionary necessity. 
Um, so only one of them, if you like, follows what you might call a natural course of events and the other one you'd be relying on a miracle. We don't do that. Uh, so the egg comes first, the chicken comes second, and the chicken's evolutionary predecessor lays the egg.